Thank you for joining us here in the cozy AWS studio at MWC 2025, where we're going to discuss telco transformation, of course. I am delighted to be joined by Vivek Shrivastava, who's head of customer engagement at Circles. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. We also have Adi Goyal, CEO at Circles Jetpack, and Debbie Tsang, who's AWS account manager. Thank you for joining us. So first of all, let's start with introductions. Circles, you're all about empowering the telecom sector to help companies transform to techcos from telcos. Yeah, that's, that's right. So what that means is that mostly telcos need to kind of adjust their strategies in terms of uh, how do they transform themselves into a digital telco, which is often referred as techcos. And, and, and in that process, they need to think about how do they get to an agile and a nimble ID infrastructure and, and a setup? Um, how do you get to a digital customer mindset so that you can engage and delight customers? And, and lastly, but not the least, you know, offering an array of digital services. So we offer a platform, uh, which is uh, a very comprehensive cloud native, cloud agnostic, code free, fully 4G, 5G, 6G ready. Uh, and, and also then provide them a lot of digital expertise around that. So, so we're already working on that. And, uh, and that's really largely telco to techco. Uh, but there's, beyond that, we also have plug and play offerings, which can solve some of their immediate needs around acquisition, monetization, and engagement. Thank you very much for this introduction. Now, Adi, you are also about engaging and delighting customers with your offering. Uh, Circles Jetpack is all about um, travel convenience, making it easier for travelers. So tell us about your full offering. So I lead a business called Jetpack. It's all about making travel convenient. For ev every, travel con every travel hassle, we have a convenience product, and that's what Jetpack is all about. Today, we have customers in more than 150 countries all over the world. Uh, we are available in 10 different languages, 10 different currencies, and uh, uh, we offer a, a variety of products like connectivity products, uh, convenience products like lounge accesses, fast track immig immigration passes. So how it's relevant for telcos is you can actually set up a new business unit which thinks like a techco rather than a telco and build it ground up. Now, specifically, I'll, I'll give you a, uh, an example where um, we launched uh, lounge accesses uh, on our platform. So any traveler who's uh, traveling and using Jetpack can basically uh, buy a lounge access and they don't have to pay the hefty credit card fees and annual memberships. You basically are on an airport. You realize you want to use a, use a lounge, go to Jetpack app, just uh, a couple of clicks and voila, you are inside. Then there is a link there which takes you directly to, the, uh, to our app on the lounge access page. Two more clicks and you've checked out. So... That basically led to about 30% increase in engagement, right? And uh, that led to a monetization for the cohort that we were targeting. There was a 150% increase in the ARPU. They are very impressive statistics, I must say. I'm very impressed here. Um, Vivek, successes on your part. Can you share some of them with us? The question of innovation is, is something where uh, we, we look at a, at a product-led kind of an approach. Uh, so we built many innovative products around that. Uh, uh, solving uh, particular problems. Some of these problems are around acquisition, some of these problems are around engagement, some of these aspects are around monetization. So uh, so we look at very clear business outcomes to solve uh, depending on the service provider environment and, and the market um, and, and then come up with, with some of these approaches. And I'm particularly very excited to talk about three of them here. Um, so one of them is around embedded connectivity. So. Uh, so we, this is all about providing an ability for users to buy connectivity services on third-party community apps. So think about you buying a connectivity product from a, from a streaming channel which you're watching, or think about a travel site where you're purchasing a connectivity product. So we built a, a SDK-based approach, a very simple integration approach, so that the third-party platforms can basically use that, and and then get access to all the CSP telecom offerings and then provide uh, different bundles and data plans uh, to those users who are engaging on those channels or those apps. Our initial focus has been towards uh, travel and entertainment sectors. 
Um, and we're working with a lot of global major OTT players around this. So these include streaming channels, these include Meta, these include ByteDance. Um, and we've had a lot of success with the initial services launched on the video streaming channel. Uh, so now I can say if in Japan, we uh, in Abiba, people can actually purchase data plans and, and data bundles which are zero rated uh, from Abiba app itself. The second part which I wanted to talk about was around something we call as data OSS. Uh, this is uh, very focused towards retail tech. Uh, so we partnered with retail chains, large retail chains, uh, in Japan, uh, Lawson is, is a very large retail chain. It has about 14,000 stores nationwide. Uh, so what we did was we actually changed the whole retail stores to actually become a data supply center of sorts, where users can come in into the Lawson store locations and get access to free data. And, and what that means is uh, for, the, for the telcos, it basically means that you're able to provide a great sense of brand awareness nationwide. You're able to fuel customer acquisitions at a much lower subscriber acquisition cost. Um, and Lawson gets footfall into their stores and ability for them to get their products consumed. And we're now extending that offerings with private label products of Lawson bundled with data services so that you can now use your telco points to actually purchase Lawson products. Um, the third piece which I want to talk about is something which we call as Circles Explore. We are essentially providing a lot of um, third-party applications uh, which are uh, high frequency in nature, which means things like, think like casual gaming, things like daily horoscope or polls or challenges. Um, and, and using that engagement data, we can then create hyper segments to target these users with non-telco services upsell. So you can think like kids bundle or health bundle and, or a subscription bundle of sorts. Uh, I'll give you one instance in Japan where we've now had a 30% engagement growth uh, and we've had a core telco ARPU uplift of 8%. Uh, the solution is now also deployed in about five different markets so, uh, around us. So, so we're increasingly seeing a strong adoption and Debbie, your role is to assist them and to support a SOC in order to be able to deliver that seamless experience. Yeah, yeah. So um, at AWS, we work backwards to understand what are the company goals and mission of our customers. And in Circle's case, um, it is to help um, Telco operate a successful digital brand. And so we work backwards from that goal to build a plan to support Circle's in building a modern and scalable SaaS solution on AWS to delight million of telco users globally. So if I were to break down into a few key focus areas that we are working on with Circles, um, the first and most fundamental one is to really build a um, scalable SaaS solutions on AWS, which we have a dedicated partner program called the SaaS Factory, which Circles can gain access to our SaaS experts specialist solution architects, and also technical and business contents and best practices to help them build, run, and scale their SaaS business on AWS. Um, the second area involved around how we help Circles manage cloud financials so that they can remain cost competitive and transfer these cost savings to help their customers innovate. And last but not least, we want to constantly help Circles to innovate and to create new service offerings to help enhance end customer experience. Um, and to do that, I think one of the hot topic is around how we can help Circles harness um, the the full potential of generative AI and data. To wrap up this conversation, I'd like to invite you to maybe look forward and tell us what's next in your innovation journey and how maybe AWS will support you in this endeavor. I think uh, the next step for us is really double down on the, on the data part because I think we've done a tremendous job in UX already. Our net promoter scores are above 50, right? And I think our customers love us. Our retentions are above 50%, uh, which is quite industry leading. So I think we're going to double down on data. The capabilities of artificial intelligence and the machine learnings and, and the, the genetic algorithms uh, in order to really enrich that data to basically engage our customers and to be able to monetize that further. On the next steps uh, for some of the innovative offerings we just spoke about, um, so if you look at embedded connecti connectivity, we, we're going to extend that to Meta and ByteDance. Uh, 
what that means is that we will have ability to tap in inbound roamers and target them with, with data plans and data bundles. Um, on the retail tech side, we're going to go down the private label offerings from Lawson and bundle more exclusive and tailored offerings now for the customers who are actually coming into, into Lawson stores. On the other aspects related to innovation journey, we, we're kind of thinking in, in a direction where how do we get into different business models for all the channel and partner ecosystem which we are setting up. One is a wholesale model, which is essentially providing a, a light touch connectivity vertical. You know, how do we make Uber, uh, you know, get to a telco vertical uh, on a light touch basis so that they can actually start selling telco subscriptions on their app. And the third part is really about loyalty as a service, where we can start looking at leveraging the, the bonus points or the data points which the telco users have and have more partner benefits associated with it. From our side, we will continue to leverage our industry experts and SaaS experts. Um, we have many like purpose-built solutions and telco-specific use cases that will help circles leverage data. I think like the key thing is to really leverage data to understand, to engage, and to enhance um, their customer experience and to co-innovate together to see how we can transform um, digital and telco experience for global users around the world. Well, many thanks to all of you. A great conversation here on how to engage and delight customers with innovation and by solving their problems, of course. Thank you. <laughs>